everybody, this is Roxy with another paper de-stash. Um, this is going to be $45 shipped, and that is in the U.S. If there's international buyers, it will be um, actual shipping cost minus $8. Um, if you want this, uh, do a send money PayPal for friends and family, and the first one that does that gets the stash anybody after that I will just refund your money and I will let you know of course um, but here we have it we've got some graphic 45 this is when pigs fly from old curiosity there's the back I think there's 10 sheets of this eight sheets there's that one. And this is um, Craft Reflections, T for two, and there's one, two, three, four sheets, man that's thick paper, four sheets of that, that's really cool. You could color this with your um, colored pencils, would be pretty. Hello, how is the walk? Is it cold out? And then the back is plain. And this is Kesara, my most favorite. This is the last of my favorite paper. They still sell it, I think. But anyways, I think I went through three packs of this. So beautiful. So, there's this. Two sides. And this is glittered and foiled and look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I love it. And then both sides are pretty. This is flocked and glittered. With a pretty melon color. This is all flocked. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you should feel it. So nice. Pretty color in the back. Another flocked one. I must have hoarded, I think I hoarded these two papers, I just couldn't use them. And this is foiled with some copper foil, it's so beautiful. Here's a little piece of that, a little piece of this one. This is more like, um, kind of metallic, it's really cool if you can see that. Look at that, gorgeous. <clears throat> and my little scraps that I dared not get rid of. This is so pretty. Still have a nice amount of that. I'm kind of talking myself into keeping this one, but I won't. Gorgeous. That is so pretty. Okay, and that's that one. And some of these have just a few, but they're still beautiful. This is GCD Studios Paris Nights. I wonder if they're still around. I haven't heard from them. Really perfect for men's men card for this one. I think I use this with Graphic 45 a lot. This is all flocked. Just gorgeous. And it's really pretty on the back. I only use two borders. And their paper, it's like linen. It feels, it's, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got kind of a linen texture to it. And this is kind of a metallic-y. So there's a lot of cool labels you could cut out. Some more labels and an alphabet. And that's that one. And then the French Country paper stack. I didn't use a whole lot of this. Get this little. Alright! Well, for kind of. Oh, let's put this up here. So there's this. This is great. Chickens. So pretty. That's really pretty. I love that pink. Distressed. I kind of did use a lot of this, I guess. But there's still a lot left. 
that's perfect for backgrounds if you're to collaging or doing mixed media. That's really pretty. That's so pretty. A lot of this is this is like flat or uh, embossed and glittered. So pretty for spring. So there's that one. So pretty. And then I have just a teeny bit of the sugar chic from Heidi Swap left. But you can do a lot with it. There's a lot of great labels you can cut out in banners or pennants. I just love, I have another almost full stack of this left too. I just love it. I used it for a lot of different projects. I think this is my third pack. I liked it so much. Nice little letters. Nice postage. And that page. Not a lot, but what's left is nice. And this is a Hot Buy paper pad crepe paper. I don't even think it has a name. Yeah, where is it? No name. There's a ton of this left. And this one is, I think there's two or three of each pattern, but it doesn't, it repeats in the book. This is so cool. This is really nice and distressed. This would be cute to make a, um, cut it up for a little uh, notepad. Pretty hard. Wallpaper looking. I like this for some reason. This one too. Some companies just don't do very well with their binding. Oh, uh, this one. And this is Tim Coffee's Sunflower. I don't know what happened to the cover. But there's a lot of this here, too. Very pretty. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's so dramatic. I think I used a couple sheets for my friend's <clears throat> wedding invitations. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. And more graphic 45. This is Le Romantique well groomed and I think there's let me see twelve sheets of this and it's all of these guys and gals <clears throat> and then a nice pinstripe on the back and then another one from on the boardwalk seaside chic there's 12 of these. Ten of them. It's a nice polka dot. And the bathing girls. 
And then this is the Recollections Lay or the Ballet. And I only used a couple pieces plus these two cards. But then I'm also including some basil cardstock that I bought to go with it. And this is really nicely textured. And there's some more cards. This is such a cool stack. A lot of versatility. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. See, theirs is kind of bad where it's hard to pull the paper out. Love this. like a frozen in purple and greens. I suppose it's frozen is blues, right? <laughs> See, that's a little bit torn up there. That's so cute. Nice and glittered. So, first serve, first come, first served, PayPal, and thanks for watching. Say,